In this video, I'll show you how to set up using Wi-Fi your brother MFC J1012DW or J1010DW with your PC Windows computer. And then I'll show you how to print and also how to use the scanners of this printer via Wi-Fi. So let's start by connecting this printer on your Wi-Fi network. First, you're going to press the settings button once then you'll see this menu appearing use the down arrow press it a few times until you select network then you can press ok press ok once more to select WLAN Wi-Fi and then we need to select the first option which is find Wi-Fi network wait a few seconds the printer will scan for every single Wi-Fi network in the area and now using these arrows you're gonna select your Wi-Fi network the one from your house or from your office in my case it's this one once it's selected in blue press OK and now it's time to type the password using these arrows and OK to select each character now, if you need to um, type some capital letters, you need to go down here, press OK, and everything will change to capital letters. If you do not see the characters or letters you want, uh, go over here on the right, lower right side, and you'll have more options. By clicking again, you see you have different symbols. You can also use the number pads here. So once your Wi-Fi password is typed, you're going to go down and select the green OK button here and press OK on the printer itself. Wait a few seconds, it will connect and you will get this message saying that the printer is now connected. Then on your PC, we need to download the driver that will make your PC connect to the printer. So I just went into Google here and typed brother and the name of my printer here, the model name and driver. And the first thing I see over here is the brother USA and brother Canada website. Click on one of these. It's not important. Then on the brother website, make sure that under OS, you selected the version of Windows you are currently using. Then you're going to download the full driver and software package. Go down, select Agree. It will download automatically the file. It may take a few minutes, depending how fast your internet is connected. Okay, so this is the file that got downloaded. I'll double click on it. Press Yes. Press Next. Make sure this is checked. Press Next select wireless network press next wait a few seconds your broader printer will appear in this list make sure you check it and then press next select standard leave it like this press next and wait If you get this message, don't worry, I print and scan is not mandated to make this printer work. So simply click on install later. It does not mean that your driver will not be installed. It's simply another so software. OK, here, do not click install. You do not need this. Click next. Click next. And you'll get this green check mark. It simply means everything got installed. Click finish. This will open and you need to close it because you do not need anything from this page. OK, now go in the start menu of your Windows computer, go into the settings, go into devices, go into printer and scanners. Click on the plus icon here. Your broader printer will be over here. Click on it click add device it will ask you for the pin code of your broader printer WPS pin
click next and even if you got an error message um, don't worry about that you see mine is ready here so I don't know why they give you this error message if it works now just open the document you want to print I'll open this one we're gonna print I'll gonna select the printer here make sure that your brother is selected on the top and I'm gonna press the print button here we go so this is how it looks now let me show you how to scan using your PC computer. A flatbed scanner here and one on the top. To use this scanner, put your paper facing down with the top part on the left side. You see? It goes on the left. And make sure you push it all the way towards that corner over there. So the corner of the paper touches the corner of the scanner. Close the lid, then on your PC computer in the search bar here, you're going to type scan. It's the scan app that comes with any Windows computer. If you do not see it, don't worry, go into the start button, settings, devices, then from here, printers and scanners, go and click on your broader printer, click on manage, and from here, you see, tap on this small menu and select the second one, scanner. And you should have open scanner button here. If you do not have the open scanner, you'll have a button saying download scanner app and click on it to download the scanner app. Then press open scanner. Make sure your brother printer is on top. Then source should be flatbed if you're using the flatbed. If you're using the top scanner, you should change it. But in our case, it's flatbed, so I'll leave it like this. File type. Most people, when they're scanning, they want a JPEG or a PDF. So select one of these. I want a JPEG. Click on show more. Make sure that color, grayscale or black and white is selected depending on your needs. Resolution. Now you have many resolutions here. If you're scanning a text document with some very small graphics, I think 300 dpi is perfectly fine. But if you're scanning a picture and you want the maximum details, you should choose the highest number. What you need to know is that if you choose 1200 because you want the most details out of your scan, it will give you a very large file and the scan can take actually 10 or even 15 minutes. So this is why I recommend keeping it at 300 if it's just scanning text documents or stuff like that where you do not need extreme details. Finally, save file to make sure that this is the um, folder that you want the scan to go in after it's done. Then press scan and wait. Okay, once you're done, you should get this message with view if you want to view the file or you can go in the folder where the scan has been saved. In my case, it's the desktop. I can open it and see it. So thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.